Today, for Wait a Minute, It's Lent, we hear from Bridget Duffy, school chaplain at St. Bennet Biscop. Let us pray together. May abundant blessings, O Lord, we pray, come down upon your people, that hope may grow in this troubled time, and eternal redemption be assured. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. So in today's Gospel, we hear a little bit about Jonah. We often think of Jonah's story as about the conversion of Nineveh, but it is just as much about the conversion of Jonah. Jonah had to let go of his pride, his arrogance and prejudice to get to the place where he was able to share God's grace to the people of Nineveh. You see, sometimes we have to be broken before we can help others, because it's only then that we will be truly received. But the trouble is, is that our ego means we mostly want to approach situations from a place of triumph, We want the message to be, you can be as good as me, when in reality it needs to be God can save someone even as rebellious as me. Now we all have our Nineveh, the place God is calling us to be, but we are reluctant to go there because it's hard to get to the place where we can let go of our heartfelt no go areas so that God can use us in the place he needs to be. For us, Nineveh might be a geographical place, a change that we need to make, or a task. But I truly believe that happiness is to be in the place that God has called us to be, doing the job that he wants us to do. God has a plan for us all, so during Lent, let us learn from Jonah. Let us acknowledge our brokenness so that we can follow God's plan.